Paul, who has traveled with the national under 23 side to Japan. For Ashanti Gold coach Thomas Dia also makes two changes to that side that start for Richard Osajima, the former Brekum Chelsea Kumasa Santi Koroko defender, and as well as David. Him. He was lively in the first half, trying to pick out Adu. Sad he picked up that injury at the time when they needed it most. But Legon City still lead by. That's the substitute goalkeeper for Kumasa Sante Kotoko this afternoon. Loses control to Gamma. Can Gamma go around three players? No, he can't. Now this is a forward burst by Legon City. Unfortunately, stopped in their tracks. What to expect in the second half? Fabio Gama stopped dead in his tracks. Clouds have started gathering. And uh, no opportunity for Kotoko in front of him. And he takes it. This is this is uh, Adebayo. Formation here. But he has varied those tactics. It's three at the back for Kotoko. Went down too easily. He looks soft. So the game will continue in earnest. And it could be goal number two. It's Kumasi Asante Koroko still leading by a long goal. Goal scored by the former Botafogo star. And Legon Cities will be chasing every ball that goes into enemy territory now. Ghana City. Long throw. Pass. Good skill on the far side as they come forward. But Ash Gold will stop. Oh, this uh, kick floated in by Justice Anani. Quite a long one. Great play, G.O. And Mesa spits. A ball cleared out, not too. Tearing off on the right side, a shot. It's been blocked by Frank Akoto. It's a connect of action here. We see Michael Ampedu here with that strike. Continuation of the Ashanti derby is the second half. And Kotoko have literally. Manav to Mensa. It's finally calmed down by Akuto. Akuto, the former Hearts of Lions man, sends a very good ball in for Yawano. Who goes in for a fair? This is Mpim. Ball booted out for a clearance. That's a one-on-one -on -one challenge there. Facing a different position here, they're facing a different ash gold to the one that he played against a couple of months ago. Adai stays onside. Playing from right to left. Kotoko. Are leading by Richard Osei. Akoto. Frank Akoto plays the one two with Amos Adai. Kofi Mensa finds Akoto. That's a long searching pass for Amos Adai. No silicon from the side uh, today. Of course, uh, Richard Entry managed to get a goal. And Kotoko have played. 30 home matches between themselves and Ash Gold. Kwame Bai again was. Akoto. Good pass to Adai. And to keep tabs on the right hand side of attack for Kumase Asante. Two men says left arm, but that fingertip save was out of the box. Uh, probably was expected. Well, Kumasi and Santi Kotoko have held their horses uh, very well. Thing, the white tops over the black shorts, and uh, for the uh, home side this afternoon, Kumasi and Santi. First half, you look at his face and he looks surprised, as if nothing is working for him. Round of the Ghana Premier League. Approach and the attitude of the Santi Gold boys. They, they, they are playing as if there's nothing at stake here and if they lose here it will be because the car yeah the pressure from hearts is a lot better now they do it in numbers they 
but in firm control now, Ashko. Well, we should have seen a lot of positivity from Ashko. But I tell you, Sadai Remos Kofi Kruma. Yes, we just saw him was in the. We still want to keep tabs in the area of the opponent. I'm sure that the first uh, scare. Zambia before switching to Ashgold. Ashgold will calm their nerves at this stage as they build an attack. So Ashgold will come forward yet again. Zero, he knows that. Again, one player who has failed to live up to the pillin is David Abagna. And he's been a pale shadow of himself. He is here on the ball. Who knows a medium Clearly, he knows what it means to be at a 10 encounter. They whipped Ash. He has not gotten into the game yet, but I'm sure there's quite a lot, a lot of time here for him. Ashgold have been asking a lot of questions. Da Costa Buedu.